This video is sponsored by Anycubic Viper. Anycubic Viper is an inexpensive FDM printer for beginners and advanced users who would love to explore the brave new experience of 3D printing. With an easy to configure printer that offers a set of features, anyone can get started with this in no time. Anycubic Viper comes equipped with a new 32-bit motherboard and a high-performance Cortex M3 architecture main control chip. And these features a faster computing speed and a smoother system. So, if you're looking for a printer that comes with a set of features like auto-leveling, a large screen touch display for independent operation, an easy to configure and a beginner-friendly interface, and of course, a faster and smoother plus silent printing experience, then the Anycubic Viper is your next best bet. So, if you're an artist or a hobbyist trying to get into 3D printing and you're looking for an inexpensive FDM printer that you can get started with in no time, then of course you might want to consider checking out the Anycubic Viper with the link in the description. Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. This is a quick rundown of Blender add-ons that were recently released that you probably missed. And in this episode, we're going to go through a couple of cool add-ons. And of course, for those who like to check out any of these ones, there's going to be a link in the description where you can grab all of them. The Simple Sci-Fi Pro Plus Flex is a brand new add-on made available by Chip Waters, and this new installment ships with two geometry generators, and more so, it makes applying the Simple Sci-Fi geometry on any selected set of faces extremely easy. The Simple Sci-Fi comes with a bunch of D-Packs and K-Packs for creating Sci-Fi environments really quick with a generator panel that offers an easier way to create displacement and geometry. Now, for those who like to play with this, there's currently a free version of the Simple Sci-Fi. And for those who like to get the Sci-Fi Flex, this is currently available on Blue Blender Market and on Gumroad. And pro owners of the Simple Sci-Fi add-on can actually get the Flex version for free. Sound React is one of those add-ons that you need if you're into visualization. This add-on actually makes any animatable property in Blender react to sound. And in this case, you can throw in an audio file into your Blender project and use the frequency from the audio file to drive a certain set of properties that exist within the models that you want to work with. So this is pretty interesting for those who are into visualization. And a couple of properties that you can drive includes the bass, the kicks, the miles, the high, the treble, and also some set of frequency properties that exist within the audio file itself. So if you're thinking about getting into audio visualization, then you might want to consider checking out the Sound React add-on from the folks at Getchy Design. So most times, trying to match a camera to an imaging perspective could be a nightmare, and this is what the perspective plotter is fixing. This is currently inspired by the freely available app known as FSpy, and the perspective plotter is made with an objective of helping Blender users to work easily and match background image proportions with an easy-to-use three-point perspective. The perspective plotter add-on comes with a set of features, and this is worth checking out if you've been thinking about replicating the perspective of several images or maybe you're into much moving. Mark, the creator of the Perspective Plotter, has also made a couple of beautiful add-ons previously, so just in case you haven't seen any of these or probably you'd like to try them, you can simply go over to the link in the description where you can check out some of the things that he has made before and you can see all of these beautiful add-ons that he has made actually solve a particular problem. And this is also the same route that the Perspective Plotter is taking at this point. Most times, as an artist, all you want to do is to see a simplified version of your scene. And in most cases, trying to replicate or simply create proxies might be very useful, but having these proxies visible at a given time might not be the easiest thing to do. And this is what the flexibility set filter is offering. Now, this tool is a very interesting add-on that allows you to create filters that are relevant to your production need at a given point, with options for you to make anything that exists within your scene visible or invisible, and at the same time, filter these things regardless of where you're working in Blender. This is just simply interesting. One of the cool things that comes with this tool is also the option of making individual objects visible alongside with making an entire set of the objects either visible or not based on the filter parameter. The visibility set add-on is one of those add that you need if you want to easily filter several objects within your scene. GraphKit add-on is an essential tool for animating in Blender. This new add-on comes with six powerful features which would save you loads of step and guarantee a much more easier way of working with Blender Graph Editor. And all of the features that comes with this will greatly improve your Graph Editor experience and this simply ranges from Amplify to Repeat, Twin, Fade, Distribute, all the way to Randomize. Now, these features are actually tailored down to meet most of your needs, and for those artists looking for more keyframing add-ons, then you can simply take advantage of the all-new Ultimate Add-on Bundle, 
that now ships with the five major animation and keyframing add-ons that the folks at Blastframe are currently offering. Now, this would actually take care of you cleaning, fixing, and working with your curves. At the same time, this is going to offer way more options to your keyframes and allow you create smooth and engaging animations. The Rock Cliff is a new Blender add-on that generates Rock Cliff easily. The operational mode for this add-on is just as simple as it looks. So how you get to create things is as simple as creating the model from the end panel, switching to the edit mode, and then simply extrude to create the cliffs as you extrude the faces. Sophine has actually gone through to make a couple of beautiful generators and add-ons over the past few days, and these are just very beautiful to take a look at. So for those who are thinking about creating things like the ivy plants, there is actually a generator for that. If you're thinking about creating damages on models, he has also created a crack and damage maker add-on which was just released a couple of days back and this simply applies crack to both faces and edges on the model. There is also a brick texture add-on and so much more. So if you're thinking about a generator or probably an add-on that can solve a couple of issues and help you generate some beautiful stuff, you might want to consider checking out Sophine. So if you're looking for a place where you can get some assets, then you might want to go ahead and check out the Revolution Kid Uprising the future fort bunker dystopian military outpost kit bash and a whole lot of others so i'm going to put all of these links in the description just in case you're looking for assets like this that you can use to recreate or simply populate your scene and that's about it a huge shout out to all of the add-on creators and of course if you like to get any of this links to this is going to be in the description so do well to check it out tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you like something from this you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend and until i see you guys in the next one Peace.